Hello and welcome to Food Tech 101. Today we're going to make everybody's favourite. We're going to make pizza. Pizza is basically two components. You've got the bread base followed by whatever toppings you like. It really is as simple as that. So the, all the skill really is me showing you how to make the bread base. Okay, in my bowl, uh, for my bread base, I'm going to use wholemeal flour. I think it's got a nicer flavour and it also adds a bit more fibre and a bit more vitamins and minerals. So I'm going to have 200 grams of flour. Into that I've added two teaspoonfuls of yeast, a teaspoonful of salt, uh, a teaspoonful of sugar, we use brown sugar. And all I'm going to do is mix all the dry ingredients together. Into the dry ingredients I'm going to mix 150 ml of warm water. To begin with I'm going to stir the mixture together using a table knife and then I'm going to turn the mixture out onto the table and start to knead by hand. Okay, so I've tipped my mixture, my, my dough out, and now really the important part is the kneading. We need to knead this for about five minutes. Now, what we're looking to do when we're kneading is we are developing the gluten. That's what we're doing when we knead. We're developing gluten. What does that mean? Well, people often think that the protein in flour is gluten. But the protein in flour is actually two proteins. One's called glutenin and one's called gliadin. And what happens is as we knead, those two proteins, they kind of mesh together and they form this other protein called gluten, which is stretchy. Which means that when our bread rises, it can rise and keep its structure without crumbling apart. And we so the more we knead, the more we develop the gluten by mixing those two strands together. That's why kneading is important to help us have a nice, light, stretchy dough. I'm going to go ahead and knead this mixture for about five minutes. Okay, I've kneaded my dough now. It's nice and soft and fully combined. Leave it for about five, six minutes. What I'm going to do now is leave it to rest and prove. Proving is where we need to rise and hopefully double in size. Now, if you don't have time to leave your pizza base to, to rise, it will rise in the oven a little bit because of the yeast. But uh, you could add some, some baking powder, which will give it a little bit more, uh, a little bit more lift in its baking if you don't have time to let it arrive. And we're back. So, it's taken about an hour. It's not, it'll take a different amount of time in different uh, temperatures for our dough to pretty much double in size, roughly speaking. So I'm gonna take my dough, which even though it's wholemeal flour, really seems quite light now, because see how, how flexible it is. It's nice and stretchy. And just using our hands, we don't need to use a rolling pin, I'm just going to spread it out just around the tray. Just like that. So what I'm going to do now, take about two spoonfuls of passata. So there we go. Spread my tomato base, and then onto that, you can add whatever toppings you like. Now, for me, I love my greens, so I'm going to add some greens on there. Next, I'm going to go with some peppers, sprinkle some around. Next, I'm going to put some onions. And finally, I'm going to put a layer of cheese on top. And here we have it, our finished pizza. Nice, soft base. And here we have it, our pizza. It's out of the oven. And that's how you make a pizza. So once again, thanks for watching Food Tech 101. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to get up to date on all the latest videos. Food Tech 101 is now on Facebook, so pop by there and check us out. And Food Tech 101 is also on Instagram. My name is Mr. Liebert, you can call me sir.